This is alternative political analysis and this video will be an update on the storming crisis and Arlene Foster said the DUP will always defend unionism that's no surprise Provisional Sinn Féin said they were not interested in talks to save the coalition that is noteworthy and the Progressive Unionist Party's John Kyle said the DUP are planning the most sectarian election ever and are fear mongering which is true but it is kind of ironic given the source now I'll give you the context on this the Progressive Unionist Party is the political wing of the Ulster Volunteer Force and the Ulster Volunteer Force drove a Catholic from his home two years ago he died last year and also the Sunday world take that with a pinch of salt because a lot of what they report is bovine excrement but the Sunday world reported that the Ulster Volunteer Force had a plan to ethnically cleanse um, Belfast Irish nationalists with acts of genocide um, in support of the Twadell and after that the BBC reported that the Ulster Volunteer Force were directly involved in a racist campaign in South Belfast and East Belfast and I'm going to give you further context on John Kelly's comments about the most sectarian election ever in the 2015 election Gary Kelly published North Belfast demographic bar chart was that not sectarian and if John Kyle knew his history he would know that in 1924 the election was a head count between the Ulster Unionist Party and Sinn Féin and he also must have misremembered in relation to the Fermanagh and South Tyrone by elections in 1981 the first one Harry West ran a sectarian campaign against the late Chuck Dalla and late volunteer Bobby Grant also we could also reference the 1969 general election it's not like that was sectarian at all was it or the 1998 Assembly election which I can re remember personally that it was bitterly contested by all factions on all sides and also an update Paul Given um, reinstated LIFA funding it was too little too late and in any case he didn't reinstate it because it was the right thing to do he reinstated it, it so that provisional Sinn Féin wouldn't get political gain and to conclude the British government and the Free State government state that an election is likely